Very much, colleagues. I'd like to give the floor now for one and a half minutes to Madame Loiseau. On that, thank you, President. In Baco, COP29 will begin, and the Azerbaijanis wanted us to speak about them. So let us do that. And I'd like to thank those who assisted me in drafting the text that we will put to you for a vote, specifically those who came. That means not the ESN, not the Patriots who determined that it wasn't worthwhile to work on this resolution. Now, greenwashing aside, this country only exports fossil fuels. There is something that is, uh, doesn't compute. Here we have the sale of fossil fuels by exporting them, we are actually purchasing Putin's gas and oil. Nice coincidence. Now, let us look at just two names specifically to salute their uh, courage. Gubad Ibaduglu, we rightly made him a finalist for the Sakharov Prize, and Mohammed, who was a refugee in Europe. He is here with us today and he has been the target of three attempts at his life. Now, Mr. Aliyev is responsible for their fate, personally. Allow me also to just speak about the 100,000 Armenians from Nagorno-Karabakh where there is the cleansing ongoing, the Armenian heritage that is destroyed and the pretext that is being used by Baku to uh, push back peace with Armenia. Yes, we should boycott the COP29 in Baku. Thank you 